Hey everybody, how's it going? Uh, we're going to talk about a new feature tonight in a quick tip called uh, sequential printing. Uh, so sequential printing is a new feature in release 341. It allows you to lay multiple parts on your build plate um, and have your printer print them one at a time start to finish as opposed to laying out a whole bunch of parts and then having to go from you know doing all of uh, the layer the first layer for all the all the parts and then the second layer for all the parts and then the third layer it will do each part one at a time start to finish start to finish start to finish um, so it's kind of nice in that um, well one if you're confident that you can remove a finished part off the build plate while it's printing good luck um, but but I think primarily what it does is it uh, it reduces the amount of travel moves uh, reduces stringing from part to part um, and you know kind of maintains whatever slice template you have um, exactly within that part and I think would come out with better quality prints if you were loading up a bunch of parts so one of the things I do regularly is if I get like an order for like cookie cutters or something like that um, then I will load them all into my CR10 and then because um, that's where my biggest print bed is um, and I can use this feature to print one at a time start to finish and they're easy to get off the build plate and I don't have to worry about the nozzle moving around from from part to part and having a potential you know missed layer or seam line that I don't like or something like that uh, so it's kind of nice so here's how so there's a couple things you need to do to set this up uh, but it's not difficult so you load in all your parts don't worry about um, part orientation on the bed you don't have to worry about that uh, go to printer go to printer settings um, I'm using the Ender 3 as my example here um, all you have to do is go over to this primary extruder tab and what you need to do is you need to tell idea maker how big your whole print head is um, don't take my measurements here as gospel for the Ender 3 go measure yours please uh, this is merely for example um, but uh, it's what it's telling you to do here is measure from the left of your print head to the center of the nozzle about right get as close as you can and then from the nozzle to the right from the nozzle to the back and from the nozzle to the front so that tells it how big your whole print head is so as it's moving around and you finish a part it's not knocking into already printed stuff and jacking up your prints right so you're, you're basically giving it constraints that it must work within um, while it's printing parts so once you do that you're good there's nothing on the advanced tab you have to worry about um, there is this allow custom printing priority in sequential printing it's a lot of words there um, when you mouse over it um, appears that it's only needed for raised 3d printers it's not clear on what it's for and in, once we go look at the g-code and look at the preview uh, you'll see that the the slicing uh, uh, that the g-code is doing what it's supposed to do so I'm leaving this this checkbox alone because I don't know what the hell it does it's not clear uh, so once you've done that go ahead and close and then all you have to do is come over here to this play button on the left uh, first you will select which template you want to use to print with so um, I'm going to use my good old uh, go to loot crate template here that I've been using and if you want to make a change to this before you slice just hit your cogwheel and your advanced settings all of your um, template settings will come up so you can change whatever you like when you're done hit OK um, and then you're going to come over here to the sequential printing tab and you're going to check this box enable sequential printing now this will give you a, a quick little warning that says look if you have more than one extruder uh, like a left and a right um, I'm only going to use your left extruder I don't give a crap about your other one so I'm only going to let you do sequential printing with one of your extruders makes sense um, and it's going to limit the maximum Z height uh, based on the gantry height so you need to set your gantry height in the print settings too um, so hit OK there and let's say arrange all models and here it will lay it out so one, two, three, four, that is the order that it's going to print these in. And if you go ahead and slice from here, it's going to give you the same error. I'm going to just click on through that. Now if we go look at the preview, uh, instead of it doing all the layers uh, for all parts in a go, it's going to print, you can see here, start to finish, top to bottom the first one, then start the next one, then start the last, blah, blah, blah. So like I said it's kind of a cool feature um, I th uh, you know it's probably a bit dangerous because I uh, I use uh, borosilicate glass and glue stick on my build plate and so I would probably have a little bit of reservation about trying to peel off a print 
uh, and not shift the bed or accidentally move the gantry or the print head out of position. So I don't know that I would try to peel a part off mid print after it's finished, but I do like the aspect of it doing one part from start to finish and not moving all around the, the bed just because I have multiple parts on it. I do like it doing start to finish. Um, so now if we close this preview and let's say we duplicate um, this part and we put on more parts than what you can actually print in sequential printing, um, I'll show you what that behavior looks like. So let's move these in here. We'll go back to our play button, back to sequential printing and arrange models and you can tell that it's going to throw a couple of these uh, outside. right? So it's going to the very edges of your build plate and it's it's saying, dude, I don't got room. Based on what you told me how big this head is, there's no room here. So um, make sure your measurements are right about your print head and then use this arrange all models because that's sort of your, um, that's your safety check, right? Um, now, if we turn off sequential printing and let's, let's get rid of a couple of these and we uh, go back to move here and say arrange all models and let's just slice this with our normal loot crate template um, and we look at the behavior here it's standard behavior right it's the all the boxes are essentially growing at the same time layer by layer so there's the difference now the big the big difference I saw there was in the print time and I honestly think that this is a bug I don't know that it's correct so I'll do some extra testing on this but you can see Printing it the quote unquote normal way says this is going to take a little over two hours to print. Now, if we come back over here on sequential printing and enable this and arrange the models and slice it, it's saying it's going to be roughly double that. That smells fishy to me. Um, just understanding that I'm using the same template, I'm not, I'm not really. Um, increasing the amount of travel moves I'm actually reducing the amount of travel moves because it's not doing you know part 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 and then moving back and forth I'm actually reducing the amount of travel moves so I, I have a feeling that this is probably a bug uh, so I'll do some testing and print parts both ways and see what happens but anyway kind of a slick feature um, hope it's useful for you so you go there's your quick tip um, talk to you soon